in the lead up to this controversy just before it surfaced were there any rumors or murmurs did, that you came across not just during this tournament but even during the previous editions now if you look at cricket followers there are two groups of people one who say that look i am not watching the game anymore it's all fixed we are being made fools there is another group which loves the game does not want to accept that it is a cancer which has spread across and when you say game it includes international cricket as well everything okay. everything now is ipl bad i don't think so because ipl has generated a lot of economic activity which is benefiting a lot of people two it is also providing entertainment there are people now who say oh goodness from next week there is no ipl what do we do in the evening right so a couple of spot fixing allegations should not lead to a demand that the ipl be banned or saying how do you patronize ipl when there is spot fixing happening people watch movies now are all movies made with clean money not at all <laughs> okay so if you are patronizing movies if you are patronizing people who are producing those movies the heroes the actors not everything is clean so basically you need to go back and look at good governance so if good governance comes at the top and there is accountability and there is a process by which you will have checks and balances in place to make sure that uh, these issues don't come up that will lead to a better environment for the game to prosper but as we all know the bcci mm -hmm. uh, is a private body and it doesn't come under the ambit of the government so when you talk about the checks and balances do you mean that the government itself should enforce those checks and balances or the board should voluntarily try and start that mechanism it should work both ways i think regulations are essential the bcci in my view would be registered as a body as a society and therefore it should be getting its accounts audited now i'm not talking about the financial side there should be laws but even when and guidances so, sorry to interrupt you but when you talk about financial uh, accountability mm -hmm. and the fact that the account should be audited but doesn't the board itself uh, you know describe itself as a charitable institution well not really because it is accountable to the stakeholders because meetings are being held accounts are getting audited being reported now this is something which is encompassing people today it's become such a big money churner that a lot of people are supporting the game and therefore there should be legislation to make sure that it is kept in control uh do you keep it the way it is going it's not going to help you this is going to continue you should bring in certain laws which say there cannot be conflict of interest in the roles people take up that has to come in there the problem which we see today is much larger it's because people are wanting to earn money which is why a president goes elsewhere and becomes a mentor or a vice president goes elsewhere and becomes the coach of the team there is definitely going to be conflict of interest here exactly. will you will a coach who knows the weaknesses and strengths of the cricketers in his association is he going to hold that back when they play that straight in which case he'll not be doing justice to his job as a coach exactly yes right so yes the conflict of interest has to be removed people can earn money not a problem but you cannot wear multiple hats which is going to bring conflict 